Hey, 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 Collective. Thank y'all so much for being here. I know it's early, but I'm telling y'all, I was pulled right in front of my camera. I was up folding clothes, and um, I came across a shirt of my boyfriend's, and it was a, um, a Halloween shirt, Michael Myers, right? And I'm sitting up here, and I'm watching the news, and the dude now had come across the screen. His name is Mike Myers. So I'm sitting there, and at first I didn't even put two and two together. Then my left ear started itching, so I know what that means. And I said, Michael Myers, that's the one that he there, but you don't never see him really until the last minute when he like boom right in your face. So I'm like, Spirit, what are you trying to tell me? What's going on? Cause you know, Michael Myers, this I'm looking around because I'm here with the kids by myself. It's early in the morning. I ain't even daylight outside. So I'm like, what you trying to tell me? So, Spirit is saying, y'all need to really watch out and pay attention to your surroundings. Because some of y'all have someone that is stalking y'all. Like, real, really, really stalking y'all. This person has the potential to get very, very aggressive. Or maybe even dangerous. Like, seriously so y'all really take this serious it's like 6 36 in the morning i'm folding clothes up up just doing household stuff and here i am so y'all really really be careful with this but we are about to try to figure out who this person is because this seems to be very important as well as like a warning for some of y'all y'all know michael myers he just Everybody his path because he looking for that one person. You see what I'm saying? So y'all, I'm telling you, be careful with this energy. Just out of four ones, this could have been someone you shared a home with, or possibly like a marriage. This could even be like somebody you met at a celebration that you don't even really like talk to that way but i don't know maybe you dance with this person or something but this person is absolutely stalking the hell out of you something else trying to come through to you right, give me a second some of y'all this is like a ex um uh, specifically a um a ex-husband and this man is stalking the hell out of you or it could be you know there is no gender in tarot um, it could be an ex-wife, but who's if somebody got an ex out here, or even possibly somebody that you don't even really know like that, just really stalking you. I mean, this person is following you. They're everywhere that you are, but you it's like this part. <laughs> I don't know what cotton feet is, but I'm it's like this person walks really, really light. This is not a small person either. This is a big person. I'm seeing something about the hands, like really big hands. Even for a woman, if this is a woman, her hands are big. Yeah, very, very deep voice, y'all. Very deep voice. Hmm. Okay, y'all, we're going to get into this. I hear practice what you preach. I'm not sure what that is. Yeah, Empress. Oh, y'all, let me give y'all some light. There we go. Empress. So whoever I'm speaking to, you're very grounded. Also, like I was telling y'all, when y'all out, be very, very, y'all pay attention to y'all surroundings. Y'all could be like out at a park or something, you know, just chilling with your family. Y'all be very, very careful. It's feeling like this person is always around you, whoever this is resonating with. Yeah, we got the two of pentacles. Could be an earth sign. The eight of wands. Yeah, for uh, some of y'all, y'all could be out like playing basketball or something. And all of a sudden, you know, like, you notice this person. It's something to do with, um... Uh, 
with you not really answering their text messages. Whoever I'm speaking to, you don't really you don't speak to this person. You don't really know this person. But this person is sending you like a shitload of messages. Yeah, I was feeling that cancer energy chariot here. We got the two of pentacles, eight of one, six of pentacles, and the magician. And like I was telling y'all, y'all be careful. Y'all have a stock. <clears throat> I told y'all, this ain't no little person, whoever I'm speaking to. This is like a, a bigger person, but they walk really, really light. You see how they got that sword right there? This person is watching you. And this person has the potential to get very, very aggressive, very dangerous. Yeah, look, you could be out with like some of your girlfriends or something. Or for me, y'all could be out like playing basketball or whatever it is y'all do out on the corner shooting dice. <laughs> your phone died. I don't know how they go. Anywho, let's be serious. Yeah, but I heard return to sender. Return to sender. Return to sender. I don't know. Let's let's keep going. Because I'm telling you, whoever this is, they sit and they watch you. This could definitely be a water sign because I see cups. Yeah, look, five of swords. What's the five of swords? What's the five of swords? This person watch your social media. This person could even be peeping through your windows. Oh, my goodness. Telling you, oh my. It's like this person is. It's an infinity symbol here that's standing out to me. I don't know if someone has an infinity symbol tattoo, like somewhere on your leg or your foot or somewhere on your chest or something, but it's something about uh, eternal love here. Yeah, you could definitely be an earth sign with the Queen of Pentacles coming out, or this person is. Yeah, in the tower. Aries, Aquarius, Scorpio. Somebody is watching y'all's house. Oh my God. Like real shit. Somebody is in, like this person watches your house at night. You see how she's under that moon? Somebody is watching y'all's house at night. Somebody could even be trying to peep through your windows like I said. Like, oh my God. But it's like this person is about to cease. I don't know what the fuck this is. Some of y'all be mindful too because I'm telling y'all, y'all got a danger. Like some of y'all got a dangerous stalker on your hands. Somebody could even try to set your house on fire. Like they're peeping through your window and it's something that they seeing that they not liking. And this person could try to set your house on fire. I don't know if some of y'all live with like your sister and your mother or your sister or you have like teenage daughters or something like that, but y'all be very mindful of this. This could even be like somebody that, uh, someone that you're living with that they're dealing with that's stalking them, but all of y'all are in this person's path because y'all all are in this one house. Yeah, look, three of ones I, and it's a nest right there. It's three people that live in one house and somebody is watching Somebody is definitely watching. Hmm. Holy Spirit, definitely give me more on this. Holy Spirit, give me more. Give me more here. Somebody here could also be doing moon magic on y'all. Whoever this is resonating with. This uh this person is stalking you. It's like they love you to the point where they hate you. And this person actually does want to harm you. Some of y'all be very mindful. I'm telling you, pay attention to your surroundings. Because some of y'all could like step out of y'all car and then boom, where this person is. Like y'all didn't even see this shit coming. Yeah, the nine of pentacles. You're very beautiful, whoever I'm talking to. You're single. You're sufficient. You're comfortable. You have somebody here that is in the shadows. Y'all see those shadows around her? You have somebody in the shadows watching you. Even if you, like you go out. You at the club. This person is there. Y'all don't even. Possibly a fire sign. But this person is feeling very wounded. Because it's it's feeling like. You just. Hold on. I don't know if you have someone else. Like you have options here. And this is somebody that you entertained for a minute. It's like maybe your friends even encouraged you to like deal with this person. 
But this person played a lot of mind games, so you had to turn your back. Now this person is stalking the absolute fuck out of you. Like, I'm telling you, somebody is watching your social media. Like, all the pictures that you post, somebody is watching them. Yeah, look, the messenger in reverse. You're not answering somebody's text messages. They DMs, nothing. And it got this person really in a in a feeling. Somebody here got like a bird. It's like a, a, a full beard. And it's something about somebody's lips here as well. Someone here could also have red hair. Yeah, look, and that's the truth. Like, you're not answering this person's messages. This per person, see, you getting your glow on, your shine on, and all that kind of stuff. I don't know. Somebody here got options. And it's like, maybe you friend zone this person. Yeah, Eight of Cups is in the reverse. With the Nine of Cups. Oh, my goodness. Eight of Cups, Nine of Cups. Yeah. Somebody is doing well. Like, you're making progress in your life. It's, I'm telling you, somebody got options here. And it's like that you put this person in, like, a, a friend bubble. But you really don't even talk to them. That's the thing. This person is feeling really rejected by you. It's like you made this person leave you when they, don't, they didn't want to. And it's got this person going out of their mind. It's like you don't you don't even consider this person an option. You see what I'm saying? Whoever it is that I'm I'm speaking to, yeah, page of cups here. I'm telling you, it's something about to happen that y'all don't see coming. Whoever you are, you're single. You could possibly be an earth sign here if you're resonating with this. Please pay attention to your surrounding. Yeah, king of cups. You got somebody all in their feelings about some relationship or lack thereof. This man is drowning in his emotions over you. Some of, I'm telling y'all, some of y'all be very, very careful. It's possibly a water sign here. This man or this woman is very, very dangerous. Hmm. Yeah. Ooh, boy, it's too many schools there. This person could possibly drink a lot. And when they get drunk, it ain't good. They it's like they get delusional or something. Maybe you even walked away from this person because they wouldn't stop drinking so much. And you decided to explore your options. This person is all in their feelings. Yeah, it's like, I'm telling you, whoever this is, if they felt like they had mind control over you. And you wasn't never going to leave them alone, some of y'all. Yeah, Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but you cut that ass off. Yeah, look, Knight of Pentacles. Somebody is, I'm telling you, somebody coming towards y'all, but they coming. Somebody is sitting back watching you, bro. They watch you. They constantly sit back and watch you. This person it stays hidden in the shadows, though. This man got a mask over his face. Anybody that got a mask or something over their face, they're trying to keep themselves hidden. This man is very, very defensive. I'm telling you, somebody could have like an all black car or like black and gold or something like that. I don't know why I'm hearing like, what's those challengers? Like one of those like, or it's, it's like a really, it's like a challenger, a charger or like a really big trucker. Yeah, somebody could even be dealing with the same set. We could be talking about a stud here. But this person, they sit outside and they watch you. They watch you. They watch you. Yeah, look, could be a Libra here with the Justice card. This person, I'm telling you, whoever this is, they want to, it's like they want to balance shit out with you. But it's something to do with your your looks here. Holy Spirit, what is the justice here? Someone could even have like tattoos like on their chest above their breast or something like that. Like I said, the color red here is really, really significant. Yeah, look, four swords and the queen of swords. 
There's definitely an air sign here, and we do have a justice, so that could be a Libra here. Yeah, either you could have gotten, uh, it's like, you got tired of this in and out energy, you know what I'm saying? One minute things going good, the next minute y'all fighting. Uh, one minute they here, the next minute they gone. You got tired of that shit, so you cut this shit out. This person ain't happy at all. Um, somebody y'all watch out. I don't know if you dealing with somebody who always carry a knife, or maybe this person carry a gun. But this person is stalking the absolute fuck out of you. It's like they are alert to where uh, somebody got a GPS or something on your car. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This person is alerted to everything that you do and everywhere that you go. It has something to do with your car. Somebody also didn't like the fact that I just told y'all. <laughs> but it's going to be all right. But yeah, this could be like a, I'm telling y'all, a man or a woman that y'all cut off. It's like you just got tired. You wanted balance in your life. Yeah, we got the moon, the five of ones, the eight of swords, and the empress. What did I tell y'all? Somebody is sitting back at night watching y'all. Like they are secretly watching y'all. Whatever it is they are seeing, it is fucking them up. Conflict. They, meant, they in their head. Mental conflict about you. Y'all out in nature, y'all granting yourself. This person is there. This person is in your environment. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This person is around you. All the time, this person is around you. And I'm not talking about in the 5D, like spiritually. I'm talking about right here, right now. Like if you walk out your outside and you seriously pay attention to what's going on, you'll probably see this person car park. Yeah, some of y'all, you're, you're in your head mentally. You're having like some mental conflict about something. You're not talking to anybody about this. Um, get back out into nature, ground yourself, and all the answers are going to come to you. Your solution or whatever it is that you're looking for, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come right to you. But you got to quit running from making this decision. Okay. Yeah, oh my goodness, y'all. What y'all done did to this person? Holy Spirit. Yeah, look, seven of pentacles. Y'all got this person going out their mind trying to figure out what the fuck y'all got going on. Like, you got this person out their mind. You see how, look, what is that? I don't know what that is, but it's something that you cut somebody, like gut somebody. I'm telling y'all, this person is like, somebody here is very spiritual. They're, they're, they're grand, but they working in their karmic energy like a son of a bitch here. I mean, they are all over the place. This feel like an energy of this is this is not who this person really is, but it's like I ain't no killer, but don't push me type shit. Y'all see what I'm saying? Yeah, this person is really I'm Queen of Cups, King of Cups. This person feel like you are their 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 divine counterpart. It's a lot of this person got a lot of love for you. Some of y'all might even still have love for this person, but you can't figure them out. You can't figure them out. So it's like best for you. And it's putting like a burden on you. So you feeling like the best thing for you to do is just get yourself up out this situation. Yeah, this person needs some professional help. Like this, this it's heavy on them that you moving on. This person actually feel like y'all still in a relationship. And feel like whatever it is that you're doing collective, like if you're talking to somebody else, going out with somebody else, that you're actually cheating on them. Because this person considers you still their soulmate. Could be an air sign and fire sign here. Yeah. I got uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and a the fool, Aries. But see, somebody here could even be you. like you're holding back and it's driving this person insane. Some of y'all here also, side note. Y'all about to meet somebody that is going to be very financially stable and this person is going to change your life for the better. But we're going to try to uh, gauge why this person is um, uh, somebody just asked what sign could be a Scorpio, a Gemini or an Aries that you're running into. I heard somebody say, what song? <laughs> so let me get that out there. Holy Spirit, why is this person stalking the collective? Like, why exactly is this person stalking the collective? Why is this person stalking the collective? 
Some of y'all, they doing moon magic on y'all to mess with y'all head. Like, some of y'all are very intuitive. And this person is trying to block your intuition as well. This person, whoever I'm speaking to, it's like if they see you with somebody else, they'll come at this person. Like who y'all dealing with for real? I see some of y'all praying. Just can y'all just please just let him leave me alone. Let her leave me alone. Lord, just please let him leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, but this man is, it's like I'm telling you something about you. Got this man, his feelings, and he's not used to this woman and this, whoever this person is. Let's put it like that. And they not used to being in their feelings behind nobody. They not. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all. Let's see why this person is really stalking y'all. Like, what the fuck is going on? Thank y'all for being here. Again, if the video is resonating, please like, comment, as well as subscribe to the channel of us. Holy Spirit, why is this person stalking the collective? Will of Fortune. Let's see. Holy Spirit, why is this person stalking the collective? Because you leaving them. You done left them. That's why. Some of y'all, this person felt like you was their meal ticket. Others of y'all, they just felt like they was going to have everything with you. But you left this person and it, if they feeling wounded. Like I, it could be a cancer here. <laughs> cancer and the fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But this person is simply stalking you because you left. I'm telling y'all, a lot of them are sitting outside of your house in their car. Somebody here could also need money for car note in just a second. But yeah, this person is sitting out, out in front of your house in their car. This person is completely holding on to you, I'm telling you. I'm, this Whoever this is, they feel like you, you're dating a lot of people. But you moving forward away from this person. Ooh, some of y'all might need to get a restraining order as well. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Some of y'all might have to call the police on this person. Because I, it's like, yeah, high priestess is in the reverse. This person. <laughs> Holy Spirit, what is the high, high priestess in the reverse? Holy Spirit, what is the high priestess? Oh, some of them could even, like, I don't know who this is going to resonate with, but some of these people could even try to come, like, knock your door down. And that would be the reason why you got to call the police. Holy Spirit, what is the high priestess, sir? What is the high priestess in the reverse? The judgment. Hmm. Holy Spirit, give me one more high priestess in the judgment. Give me one more. What is the high priestess in the judgment, Holy Spirit? Yeah, some of them wanted you to ignore your intuition about them. It's like you saw something in this person and you called it on. You called them on whatever this is. And you left. You changed this how you changed the situation. That's what I'm saying. A lot of y'all these people thought they had y'all in the bag like y'all weren't going to never go nowhere. This person felt like, yeah, they had you in the palm of their damn hand. And the fact that you spoke your truth and let this person, yeah, look, that moon is in the reverse. You let all that shit out. And it could have been like some secret that came out about this person, which caused you not to give this person another chance and you just left. This person is real butthurt behind her. Yeah, it could be a younger earth sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Person is very, very defensive. Y'all see that sword is up. This person is ready for battle. This person is watching. The, this person, fuck watching. This person is stalking you. Stalking is something about stars. I don't know what this is. I'm seeing a lot of stars. It's stars, stars, stars. Some of y'all could have even been with this person for like uh, 10 years or more. But the, yeah, you leaving this person, it, it, it like fuck their head up. And it's like, I don't know what this is, but I hate to say it, but it's looking like right now, spirit is turning their back on this person. 
Yeah, look, now the swords. This man or this woman is ready to rush in towards you. Spirit done turned they back. This person, I don't have it out here, but this person is working out of they like they they shadow side, like they devil energy. I'm telling y'all, this is an air sign. Yeah, look. It's like you stop giving to this person. Maybe you give it to somebody else. Maybe that's what this person is saying. But I'm telling you, this person is just like begging. They just begging and pleading for one more chance. It's, that's all they want is one more chance. But what the fuck? Like, this how you plan on getting one more chance? Yeah, this person missing you. But it's like, it's. I'm telling you. They want everything between y'all to like calm down and you can come back and y'all move away. Maybe y'all got kids together or something. I'm not sure. This is feeling like it has something to do with domestic violence as well. Maybe you took your kids and you left. This feeling like a lot of, this is feeling domestic violence. Like, yeah, somebody pulling somebody hair. Somebody had a really beautiful face. Because let me show y'all some. Hopefully the video don't end. But y'all see this? How beautiful. And then right here, she all in her head, uh, all over the place. Yeah, somebody took y'all out of y'all element. So y'all took y'all power back. And now this person is butt fucking hurt because you are gone. You took the kids possibly and you left. Yes, now this person is very, very unstable. Probably can't even make ends meet or nothing. Priorities all fucked up because they too focused on you. Yeah, look. You over here peaceful as fuck. Ain't caring about nothing. Pouring back into your own cup. Going down your spiritual path. You good. This person right here is crazy as hell. They unstable. Yeah, somebody here could even walk with like a limp or something. But this person is unstable, y'all. So take this message very serious. If it resonated, please like, comment, as well as subscribe. And we'll get back up.